So, for some people, and that was the test question that I had and nobody answered, thank God, like I remember I saw in the clip. You know. I'm going to give you a little tip when I, if you, I don't know if your final you're going to be tested for fully. How you, how said the, the sizes, it comes in French. Or here you have 14 French, yeah. 14 FR. So, for women, it's different. They have a smaller one, 14 to 16. And for men, they're bigger. There you go. Write that down. That's a, I swear to you, that's going to be a test question. I 14 through 16? 14, 16. 14, 16. 14 French and 16 French. Women. It's women. And then 18 French. And 18. Yeah. That's going to be a test question. I swear to you, because everybody got out of there, I was like. <laughs> Alright. So, this is. You guys have a different kit. It's the same thing. The only difference is that you guys have two, two packs of cotton swaps. That's the only difference. But from then on, you guys are good. You're going to come to a room, introduce yourself to a patient. Hi, my name is Son Son Son. I'm going to be your, your student nurse today or your nurse today. I'm going to prepare a characterization. So, next thing you do, remember always, you check, you're going to check for ID and you're going to tell them to state their name. Once you know they're the right person and they're not confused, you go right ahead and start your procedure. Next thing you do, working level. You Right? Yeah. Working level, which is your waist level. You got all your equipment, you should use only this. You're going to wash your hands, okay? You wash your hands, you're going to put your clean gloves. And I won't get tired of telling you this, you're always going to assess. What you're going to assess for? If the person needs perineal care, that's the first thing that you're going to do. Before you start a catheterization, you're going to do perineal care. Alright? And remember, how you do perineal care, if it is woman, and front to back. Alright? Guys, if the guy haven't been circumcised, same thing from the natives, down. Okay? So next thing, I'm going to put it in the diamond shape. The diamond shape, to be honest with you, they don't do that at the hospital. They just go, fuck it. Alright? But, but. For the purpose of this. For the purpose of this, you try to cover. Uh, you try to uncover only the part you're gonna work with. Now, this is a guy. For guys, the position is very important. The position of the person is just legs spread. So you're gonna start right now. Let legs spread. So you don't have to cover them if it's a guy. Or? No, no, yeah, you have to cover them. I'm just telling you, like, what's the position? Legs spread. Now, for women. You do dorsal recumbent. You lift a little bit of this. Just a little bit. <laughs> so this is for you. Wow. And that's dorsal recumbent. Kind of like when the person, when the woman is about to give birth. Alright? This is, what's the name of this? Dorsal recumbent. So how are you going to do the position of the person if it is a male? So because this is a guy, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to do now. Trying to just trying to cover him. So, you suppose the part you're gonna work with. Take it out and wait. That's right. Good. Just like that. We don't have to do the twisting around. If you want to, yeah, that would but be a good. But okay. I, to be honest, I don't know how to do this. So That's I'm not why, sure. Yeah, because to be honest with you, you know what I like. Do that in the house. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. And even for Professor Taylor, she'll tell you the same thing. You're just trying to cover the part you're gonna work, which is this. That's about it. Always privacy. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's my? So next thing that I already told you, I wash my hands, I check for very, if I need perineal care, actually in the skills, in the skills check up, you're going to tell me that I'm going to do perineal care first, and then I'm going to start my call. Do those things, 